Hey there everyone, this is Mekion. Today, the Sea of Darkness. Remember what I said about Sea of Darkness having a nice gimmick? This is it. I'm just pick up some air here. Now, the other gimmick of the Sea of Darkness, I hope it's on sonar. Yes it is! You see that symbol over by the middle left? Remember that from a few levels ago? That's a vortex. Vortex are fucking bastards. If you don't know that they're there, which is very possible, then they will wreck your shit. It is that simple. There are four Vortex in the level, and I know all of their locations, so... Hopefully, we won't die horribly to them. Vortex number two. Despite having a nice main gimmick, the... Darkness that vanishes when you sonar. The sub-gimmick of... The Sea of Darkness also includes one of my least favorites. Hello there, Rorko, who's not letting me through to the exit. Unless you've only got one child, and like said another Rorko. And that is what happens when you get fucked up by a vortex. See us in a bit. And we are back at this little corner here. We knocked his block off. What you didn't see was me accidentally killing the other vortex down here. And oh great, yeah this is the other reason. It combines my two least favorite, well two of my least favorite at least, gimmicks into one. If we had to actually follow something to get out of this level, Despite the darkness, I would probably hate this level. Thankfully, there's an air pocket just here. Fuck off, crab. Usually, I actually manage to kill him with the stars. Hey, the Seas of Darkness is a nice short level, especially after the last two we've had. And here's our little orca buddy. To swim all the way back? Nope. Thankfully, you can just head up here. Ah, this is that echo from this is that walker from the death of the asteroid scene that we saw. Most of the scene is a repeat, by the way, but you can watch it again. It's gonna become a fetch quest, isn't it? Uh, vents of Medusa. Yeah, there's something like tubes of Medusa. Now, I really need to plan ahead for this stage. In fact, I'm gonna plop down a save state because I can die here very easily. This 
air here actually drains our air. No, I don't want to talk to you. As you can see, we are now out of air and losing health rapidly. And as you know, I regularly just plow through everything. Thankfully, I saved a space. Ah, yes, excellent. Just one little bit of air is better than none. What we have to do after getting our air drained is to dash over here to a metasphere. And now we're a jellyfish. B makes us go up high, while the C is a more smaller increase. And our former allies are now attacking us. Of course, considering how many jellyfish are in this vent, um... Wow. I'm actually starting to get some slowdown. That is a lot of jellyfish. However, once we get to this part, we are free! How to change back to a dolphin, I wonder? Hitting the surface just bumps us back. Well, hitting the rocks just bumps us back. Hmm... I wonder what happens if we hit the surface, just as soon as this jellyfish pisses off. Excellent. Back to a dolphin and with full air. Exit of the surface is just over here. Our last level 2 for today introduces a new gimmick for the 3D maze levels. Hopefully I can actually find it. Ah, there it is. Ow! Pike off! You fucking shark. The sharks that come out from the background are much weaker than your average variety, as they only take one hit to kill. However, they have a habit of infinitely respawning. Just grab an air pocket here, and... This is the magic arm. It's a vortex creature. Anyway, we charge sonar it. Takes in its arm. Stends it in a random direction and fires those bubbles out, which you may or may not have seen. We can collect the bubbles. And we can go back to the glyph. Tells us that we have the Hunter Song. The Hunter Song is the kind of upgrade we get just for this particular level. However, considering the futility of actually killing things in the open ocean 3D levels, I'm go rarely going to use it. Also, I'm going to save state because I hate these fucking levels and I die on them a lot. Oh my fucking god, I am fucking sick of this level. Hey there, I failed a couple of times now. This is the Hunter Song. It fires homing bubbles at all your enemies. It's pretty useful, I guess. Ugh. Went for the fact the stage is a bitch. I just fucking hate these levels. I. I'd say I have no depth perception, but fuck, I just hate them. I suck at them. Huh, managed to get that one. If you fail all your chances there, then you have to restart the level. It's about the third or fourth time I've restarted. I'm sick of it. I... Oh, yeah, thanks. If you charge, you automatically home in on the nearest enemies, so... If you've got a lot of enemies, that's not exactly a good thing. 
How helpful of them to put a health meter up there. Oh, fuck. I'm just gonna say straight abuse my way through this. I cannot take it anymore, guys. I am sorry. No two rings from the end. Next time... Um... Actually, no, not next time. Where are we? Sea of Birds, I think. Um... I got a definitive answer for you in a few seconds, actually, but... What do you want? No, we're very in the Sea of Birds, I believe. Oh, he's blocking the fucking... Okay, no, I am definitely doing this next time, guys. You will s see why. So until next time, everyone, this is Mechion saying, check out those animated birds in the background. Oh, fuck off, shark. See us.